All right, everyone, I'm going to do a little bit of gardening today, a few new seed starts. I don't know if it's a bit too late to start seeds, but I always do this, I always start things late. We're going to try anyway. Here we've got, I've been doing some seed gathering today from the seeds that have been outside. So hopefully them being outside all winter will have cold stratified them enough. I don't know if they need to be like in soil for that to work, but I think in the past I've just put dry henbane seeds straight into the soil no cold stratifying and they've worked so yeah here we go black henbane there's quite a lot there and then even more here Dechora. imagine getting a, pouring some milk in there and eating this like cereal ooh, 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 you'd have a good time i imagine so yeah Dechora, absolutely loads Dechora stramonium i think jimson weed absolutely tons so i'm going to pack, try putting some of these i don't know what to do with them whether to try growing them straight in the pot that they were growing in last year or to try um actually i'll do both i'll grow some inside so i can get it like warm and you know it'll be a nice controlled atmosphere and some i'll put into the big pot that i grew in last year i'll do that with a henbane as well because i've got enough seeds to do that with um also what i've got i just found these randomly i have no idea how old they are they're probably way out of date or something black beauty courgettes um yeah i know i was meant to be growing cucumber but i haven't yet got cucumber seeds but these are kind of close enough i guess it says so in april hmm, damn um, also these, which I've had for absolutely years, and this is this is a real long shot. This somebody sent me these. Yeah, somebody sent me this absolutely years ago. It must be, oh, it could even be like ten years or more. But they look, they look like they're all right. But who knows whether they're viable? It's a real long shot. These are Yopo seeds. Yopo, I think it's called Yop Yopo. <laughs> And uh, yeah, somebody sent me these years ago and I just completely ignored them because I'm a real bastard and this is why people shouldn't send me things because I'm really ungrateful basically. But uh, yeah, I've never tried germinating these. They look okay. So, grow them. And some um, Nicotina rustica. A few seeds there, not many. They might come up, so we'll try them as well. And also, I'm not growing this yet, but I found this, the uh, um, d -d 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 sea bean, there we go, in Tardaridi. I must have had this years because I don't even think that mushroom site is going anymore. But I, I, I hear that these last for years, like they'll just last and last, these these pods, they're uh, dream, dream beans, I think they're called. People used to eat the flesh of them to try and induce strange dreams, apparently. But it'd be an interesting thing to try and grow. Um, apparently they're hard though. You've got to try and sand off some of the outer edge to get liquid into it and then put it into hot water overnight and then keep it in soil but without going mouldy for weeks. And then apparently it'll start to grow. But I've tried in the past and did not succeed. So we'll see. We'll try that again. But this won't be planted today. This is just a future thing that I found. And also I had a big bag of seeds things that I wanted to grow they were on the side in my in the spare room for ages and um, I kept looking and thinking hey, I'm going to grow them next year and then I had a massive tidy up and now I've lost them so the moral of the story is never tidy up because it'll make you lose things so so far these are, these are the seeds I'm going to grow I'll keep an update on them and um, also I'm going to repot this bastard here has fallen over Cotria viridis it's really, um, it's growing, it's growing badly. It's wrinkly, it's always been like that. I need to really do something with the humidity, but I don't know what. So, uh, yeah, it's it needs repotting anyway. So, and I might, uh, at the same time, take some cuttings from the top of it, of each branch, just to encourage it to branch out a bit as well. Okay, okay everybody. Um, all right, so here's the uh, Yopo seeds um soaking overnight <laughs> like i say very it's a very long shot that these will actually germinate but we'll see and um yeah i'll just leave them 24 hours 
The other ones that I've planted up are just outside at the minute. It started like torrential raining just after that bit I recorded. So um, I pretty much just left the, the seed trays with the soil and the seeds in them outside just to get soaked in the rainwater. Um, but I just haven't been out to pick them up again yet. It's, not, it's now night time by the way. Um, I didn't get around to repotting that because I ran out of soil. But um, I might have another bag somewhere. I'm just going to have a look for it. And uh, okay, so oh, another thing for these uh, Yopo seeds, if they actually do germinate, I don't know if they will, but I want to give them the most chance they've got. Um, they need one of the instructions I read. Oh shit! One of the instructions I read online said um, give them a mixture of horticultural sand and perlite, fifty-fifty mix. So that's what that's it, and that's what they'll go into um, until they germinate, and then they'll go into. A, you know, a proper soil mix. Um, okay, and the oh, the dream bean. I might have been a bit too uh, over enthusiastic with the chipping away because I don't know if you can see. Will it, will it focus, please, phone? It's kind of gone into the actual inner bit of the seed a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know if that's going to... Might have killed it already. But I don't know. I was just trying to hack away at it and uh, yeah, it might have been a bit overzealous. Now the original idea was to put it into a, and this is what a lot of instructions online say, put it into a thermos flask, fill it with boiling water because it needs like hot water to soak in. But yeah, it doesn't fit. And even if it did fit, it would only just about go in and then it would swell up and then and then it would uh, probably um, wouldn't be able to get it back out again. So, plan B, and this is probably not as good, but I'm just going to put it in a Tupperware box, keep the lid on it. It might keep it warm enough, I don't know. Let's see. It seems so weird pouring boiling water on a seed. But all the instructions online say to do that, so I'm hoping a Tupperware can handle it. <laughs> and you can see the air escaping from it already. Focus phone. It's trying to focus on the steam, I think. Hey, anyway. I'll put the lid on there. And that might keep the heat in a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it won't. It will, it will lose heat easy, but it should be all right just giving it a soak overnight and then I'll put it into some substrate to see if I can get it to germinate. We'll see. We'll never know. It might work, it might not, but I'll keep you updated. So, apologies for the washing machine noise in the background as well. Um, that's the seed starts for today and I do have a bag somewhere of other seeds that I want to grow and I just can't find it so once I find that I'll do another video but um, yeah stay tuned for more um, update videos and uh, okay yeah see you later